but we have another special guest joining us, the lovely Shannon Purser, star of Stranger Things yes! and Riverdale. Oh my gosh. Hashtag Barb, hashtag Barb Lives <laughs> here on IMDb. Yes. Welcome and great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, nice to have you. So what do you think of the show so far? I think it's incredible. Yeah? I mean, yeah, I love watching it every year, so. Awesome. It's, it's amazing. More celebrated. Absolutely. We were chatting too about uh, the best costume uh, design win right there, Colleen Atwood. That's yes. what you were going for, oh, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I, I love Harry Potter and I thought it was just beautiful. Um, you know, all, all the costumes in that film. So I'm very, very happy for them. You know what, what's interesting? I'm sorry, Rachel. Yeah, what's, no, go you know, ahead. a lot of people often complain about how the fact that the Oscars give awards to movies that no one has seen. Well, love it or hate it. Suicide Squad and Fantastic Beasts just won Oscars. Yeah. So, and those are two movies that a lot of people saw. Yeah. Whether they loved Suicide Squad or not, yeah. that's debatable, but right. Fantastic Beasts was a great movie, I Absolutely. thought. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I thought it was wonderful. I mean, with all the pressure of having to live up to like, the original movies, I think they did a great job. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of costumes, tell us about your little throwback moment with Stranger Things and taking on the costume that you have to take on to get into character for Barb. How does that? You know, channel you to that place, and you look nothing like <laughs> no. oh, nothing like Barb Thank you. in real life. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it was great because it was set in the '80s, so we had a lot of fun. What do you know about the '80s? They weren't, the 80s? weren't even alive. <laughs> I know. I, not very much firsthand, but I love like '80s films and John Hughes movies and stuff. So I, I knew it from then, and it was so much fun. It really helped, you know, um, get us kind of in the mindset of that decade. What is the thing that you enjoy? Yeah, what do you, what's the, the part of the costume that you enjoy the most? Or allows you, the, you know, to get into character the most? Is it the hair? Is it the glasses? glasses. <laughs> it's hard. I mean, the glasses were definitely it, like for Barb. I yeah. think they had, you know, the whole costume together and everything ready, and it just didn't feel quite right yet, and yeah. then we put on the glasses, and then we knew that was it. What about, what about Riverdale? What are the costumes like in that one for you? Riverdale is amazing because it's, oh, here we go. Riverdale is amazing because it's um, there we go. it's based off the Archie comics, uh -huh. so those are kind of set in like the 50s, but it is a modern twist on on those comics. So there's you know modern clothing, but also a little bit of like retro flair to it. And Ethel definitely wears a lot um, that's very you know connected to the 50s. So it's an intricate part of, yeah. of developing a character. Oh, it's so film, much fun. Television, yeah. whatever it is. Absolutely. So we're very happy to have Shannon here. If you've got questions for Shannon, I think there's probably a lot of Riverdale yeah. and Stranger Things fans <laughs> out there. Please tweet them with the hashtag IMDB Ask Shannon because she's going to be sticking around with us in the next commercial break too. So if you've got questions for her, we'd be happy to um, to uh, ask them. But while we wait for those questions to come in, let's look at a quick interview from earlier today with Best Supporting Actor nominee from Manchester by the Sea, Lucas Hedges. Casey's one of the most, I wouldn't say he's a method actor, but he's incredibly dedicated on and off, off screen. And I almost feel like I didn't fully get to know Casey until we had finished. And so just to see a, somebody who was, to, to knowing him now and knowing him then, is, it, it gives me a little glimpse into how to tell a story that is so severe and takes that much out of you that you have to live with it for two months at a, if, if needed. Casey and Michelle are two of the be finest American actors I think out there. Kenny is a truthful storyteller who has a very fine ear for dialogue and he, I don't think his story is serves to tell you something specific. It's a, it's a sliver of, of, of a man's life. And that's the purpose the, the, the story tells, is that it's, the, it's, a truthful, it's a truthful story and people get to experience it however they, they experience it.